listen your job may never bring you to wealth but this will the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us tonight I'm gonna to be talking to you about living beyond your means how to do it you need to get this working and prove it say I will, I will. Get, this get this working, working. And, prove it. and prove it now what I'm gonna say right now is either true or it's not true mm. and you can either believe it or not believe it it's your choice let's read Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord your God so we're gonna remember the Lord our God mm -hmm. and we know that he happens to be the person of the Holy Ghost God in the earth today we're gonna to remember him mm -hmm. yeah. the Holy Ghost remember the Lord thy God for it is he say it is he, it is he. so he's a person yeah. right the Holy Ghost is a person he's God in the earth today it is he that giveth thee mm -hmm. and the thee means me mm -hmm. say thee, thee. Means, me. means me so he the Lord your God gives you something mm -hmm. power to get wealth mm -hmm. is this true yes. yeah. like I said you can either believe it or not believe it it's either true or it's not true I'm going to believe it and say that it's true mm -hmm. And this should not be so controversial should it no. I mean why would it be it literally just says that mm -hmm. you remember him mm -hmm. but you remember that he gives you power to get what wealth. wealth what is wealth well we know if we read earlier on he talked about houses and money mm -hmm. and gold and land and vineyards mm -hmm. so it is he that gives me power to get wealth many choose not to believe this specific thing about God that that's something he does or it's part of who he is what do they get then nothing not this that's for sure mm -hmm. many choose not to believe this about God but if you don't it won't work for you mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 7 and verse nine if you will not believe surely you shall not be established if you don't believe you won't be established and what are we talking about being established in the wealth that God is giving to you because it's God that gives you power to get wealth but if we do believe it what shall we be established in the wealth that God gives us power to get yes. and it's the inner game this is where you must win not out here the, it's an inner game because it's a game of belief wealth comes to you on the inside first wealth happens to you say it happens to me it happens to you on the inside first you happen to become a wealthy person on the inside first you got to get this you don't necessarily know how it's gonna come to pass but you receive it on the inside and you become that person first mm -hmm. say first. first just like healing 
or any of the other graces of God that you get healed first on the inside and then it happens on the outside does this make sense yep. mm -hmm. you believe these things with your spirit man your spirit man mm -hmm. not with your mind you believe it with your spirit say I believe it, I believe it. With, my spirit. with my spirit so you're incapable of believing things with your mind you believe things with your inner man first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly mm -hmm. fully and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus and notice he says here spirit soul and body what which comes first the spirit you're being sanctified in your spirit and then in your soul and in in your body same thing you receive the prosperity of God the wealth of God in your spirit man first then in your soul and then in your body and it shows up on the outside are you here these things come to and out of your spirit man the wealth of God comes to and out of your spirit man the wealth of God comes to and out of your spirit man God gives me power to get wealth who's he giving power to get wealth to you the real you the spirit man Romans 10 verse 10 says for with the heart man believes what do you believe with your mind do you believe with your body no he's giving power to and faith to the heart that's the spirit man for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth say with the mouth, with the mouth. confession is made unto salvation salvation will be provision salvation will be deliverance mm -hmm. salvation will be healing mm -hmm. right so with the heart you believe and then you confess with the mouth unto what does unto mean until it comes to pass in your physical body or in your outer life you first believed it with your heart and then you confessed it unto well I don't want it that way well then you want some other God because this is the way God does things say this, this is, the way is the way God does things, God does things. this is the righteousness of faith so you believe with your heart your spirit man are you here mm -hmm. and then confession is made with what your mouth your tongue unto salvation Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 now the just shall live by faith and if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him 39 but we're not of them that draw back unto perdition but of them that believe unto the saving of the soul what's getting saved soul. your soul your mind your will your emotions mm -hmm. you're believing with your inner man and then your mind starts to think differently it gets saved mm -hmm. it gets wealthy say my mind, my mind gets, wealthy. gets wealthy and then of course your body gets wealthy are you here mm -hmm. where's it start on the inside Philippians chapter 2 and then verse 12 work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is God which works in you who's the God that's working in you the Holy Ghost it's God that works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure here it says work out your own salvation did it say work it in No. work it in rub it in no you're working it out say I'm working it out, I'm working it out. which means it has to be in there already mm -hmm. are you here yeah. you're a lot richer than you thought you were 
my point here is that you receive wealth on the inside first am i getting this across yeah where do you receive it first on the inside, on the, inside the spirit man is the one who receives mm -hmm. and the one who believes yeah. and then it's up to you to work it out out mm -hmm. i'm working this out remember deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 said remember the lord your god it is he that gives you power to get wealth where is this it's on the inside mm -hmm. he gives it to you on the inside are you hearing me yeah. there is faith and power in that word even just that one deuteronomy 8 18 mm -hmm. are you here that we just read there's faith and power in that word of god to bring itself to pass in the life of those who say it and believe it it is god who gives me power to get wealth and i work it outwards are you getting this yeah. i think it's getting across mm -hmm. speaking that word changes you into the thing said speaking that word changes you into the thing said i'm one god give power to get wealth to mm -hmm. get that straight is everybody gonna like that yeah. nobody's gonna like it mm -hmm. except you you should like it and god likes it he takes pleasure in it in fact if you draw back he has no pleasure in you speaking his word changes you into the thing said someone with power to get wealth now we've been talking about living beyond your means do you know who lives beyond your means who lives beyond your means the holy ghost, the holy ghost. where do you suppose the holy ghost is he's on the inside of you giving you power to get wealth mm -hmm. whose means are you supposed to be living by mm -hmm. his. his means is there anything there to work out first corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost verse 20 therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit so here we see that god's the one dwelling in there and we're supposed to glorify him in our spirit and in our body deuteronomy 8 18 says god gives me power to get wealth this power to get wealth has nothing to do with your job mm. say nothing, nothing to do, to do with my job. my job my job right now may be preaching but this power to get wealth he's giving me has nothing to do with that your job may be something else truck driver the power is in the word itself not your job otherwise god would be a respecter of persons it's irrespective of your job Romans chapter 2 verse 11 for there is no respect of persons with God Does the Bible say that yes. mm -hmm. no respect of persons with God that means his word his promise is dependent on his promise the word itself and not you Amen. this is good news yes. Acts chapter 10 verse 34 then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth i perceive that god is no respecter of persons mm -hmm. but in every nation he that fears him or worships him and works righteousness is accepted with him god is no respecter of persons persons are respected by their positions mm -hmm. or their jobs are you here mm -hmm don't we do that we go oh, it's one of the first things they ask people what do you do what do you do and, and then we respect that person based on whatever their job is mm -hmm. 
god is no respecter of persons he doesn't respect you based on what your job is are you ready for this i'm gonna say it anyway listen your job may never bring you to wealth but this will did you hear that yes. your job may never bring you to wealth but this will in many ways it already has and you just don't know it but i'm here to reveal it to you is this good news yeah. i always try to preach the good news your job often dictates how much wealth you will have or how rich you can be isn't this a fact mm -hmm. yes there are outliers people who excel beyond we understand that right but in general if someone says oh this is what i do then you pretty much have placed yourself in a category of how much wealth or how rich you will be that's respect of persons god isn't doing that is he no. we read two verses there are other ones that say the exact same thing god is no respecter of persons he doesn't respect what you do <laughs> say god doesn't respect, god doesn't respect what, I do. what i do in in light of this you understand mm -hmm. his wealth is not dependent on what you do mm -hmm. is this okay so far yes and your job what you do may never bring you to the wealth that god has for you can you see that mm -hmm. trying to separate what you do in your job from the wealth of god yeah. does this make sense mm -hmm. genesis chapter 14 and then verse 22 abraham said to the king of sodom i have lift up my hand unto the lord the most high god the possessor of heaven and earth you suppose the most high god possessor of heaven and earth is pretty rich yes he's the possessor of heaven and earth add that up mm -hmm. verse 23 that that i will not take from a thread even to a shoe latchet and that i will not take anything that is thine lest thou shouldest say i have made abram rich he's lifted his hand to the most high god that no man say no man, no man made abram rich except god no man means how many men zero men would that mean yourself included yes yeah he lifted his hand lest you say that your employer made you rich or that your job made you rich in fact in deuteronomy 8 verse 17 it says the might of your own hand don't say the might of your own hand got you this wealth mm -hmm. what would that include your job yeah. so here abraham is not looking to the king to give him money he's not looking to his own job to give him money he is looking solely and only to the most high god who gives you power to get wealth mm -hmm. does god give power to get wealth yes mm -hmm. is he dependent on respecting you and your person and what you do no that's what it's dependent on <laughs> romans chapter 4 verse 4 now to him that works is the reward not reckoned for grace but of debt if you go to work at a job and at the end of the week you get a paycheck they're not just paying you out of the grace and goodness of their heart mm -hmm. it's a debt they owe you because you worked all week for it mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. verse 5 but to him that works not but believes on him that justifies the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness mm -hmm. it's not by your works but it's by grace that these promises come to you and upon you mm -hmm. and it's not by your means that you've gotten this wealth are you here yeah. can you raise your hand and say it's not by my means that i've gotten this wealth yeah. which means you're living above your means 
am i getting you here yes ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god verse 9 not of works lest any man should boast would any man include you mm -hmm. yes yourself included yeah but i don't deserve it i don't deserve the wealth of god no kidding welcome to grace what you deserve is by your means you deserve your paycheck at the end of the week you worked hard and you get paid either a little bit or a lot either way that's your means we're talking about living beyond your means mm -hmm. what you deserve is your means but we're called to live way beyond our means deuteronomy 8 18 says it is he that gives the power to get wealth are you hearing this now mm -hmm. it is he that gives the power to get wealth god on the inside is the holy ghost giving you his power to get wealth and glorify god in your body is that beyond your means mm -hmm. this is either true or it's not you either believe it or you don't believe it I happen to believe it I choose to believe it and I work it out Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service other translations say spiritual worship you're supposed to present your body unto god what god is in your body holy ghost. the holy ghost is your tongue part of your body yes i would argue it's one of the most important parts of your body you present your tongue to god a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your spiritual worship verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god the one living in you we are truly called to live beyond our means and we do it by presenting our tongue to god the holy ghost and speaking in agreement with his word we get this working in our lives and we prove it the good acceptable and perfect will of god thank you holy ghost for blessing these people that your grace is upon them right now that they may move into the new and move into the greater things that you've called them unto that we may begin living beyond our means and into your means that you've prepared for us from the foundation of the earth we shall be that glorious church and please you in all things in this day in jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost holy i ghost worship god. you you are the living god and i walk with you in the earth by speaking your words you give me power to get wealth and i live well beyond my own means in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth to 